Okay, so today we have the look by Metronomy. Um, it's an organ based song, but we're going to do it on a guitar. So let me play a little bit and you can see if you want to do it. So I've just done this myself five minutes ago. So I'm not playing it perfect, but we shall get there. Okay, so my student is doing this on looper. Now the song is basically that uh, throughout. However, it's a nine bar loop. Okay, so you know the on the we play those four chords again, but on the on the ninth bar we, we hold the, the E to the E seven. Let me see if I can play the whole thing through. So. That would be the loop, okay? So that you'd, you know, for you guys that want to do that, that would now be looping, and you could start singing. And as you were singing, perhaps you could just add in the, the bar chord, just on the beat of one, two, three, four. suggest you use those ones because the, the loop ones are in the triads here. Uh, so as, as that F6 to the F comes in, just play the low bar chord on it and help to fatten up the sound a bit. And then we'll come to D minor, play the bar chord in D minor. Minus here, whoops. So you can play the, the, the first position A minor, and then as we get to the, the triad on the E, the low E, just help to fan up the loop a bit. So let me explain those chords for you that don't know the chords. So for the F6 to the F major, we take our first finger and we put a bar on the first and second string. Second finger goes to the second fret on the third string, and the third finger goes to the third fret on the fourth string. That gives us an F major. And then we're going to add our little finger, the fourth finger, to the third fret on the second string. We're going to plug it out so the thumbs on the four, index on the three, middle on the two, ring on the one. And our, all we do with the left hand is just lift the little finger off. When we need to, okay, so we'll go six major six major, okay, just like that. Now, to get to the D minor, all we're going to do is put our little finger back down, raise the third finger up, and we're already there. And like before, we need to take the little finger and lift it off to get to the D minor seven, same rhythm. Same idea, basically. Okay, so minor, seven, minor, seven. Okay, and we get the A minor, the fifth fret, second finger on the third string, third finger on the second, fourth on the first, and we're going to place our first finger behind on the third fret, uh, so that when we lift off our little finger, then we get the dominant seventh, okay? So, but now the thumb has moved to the fifth. Fingers remain on the treble strings. Same rhythm, same idea with the movements of the Okay? And here, we're going to start by putting on our dominant seventh shape, E dominant seventh. Thumb now goes to the sixth. And uh, so that's your two on the four of the three, one on the three of the two, and your three on the four of the one and fourth finger on the five of the two and again we're just going to lift it off and on so for our 
a fourth bar, we just do this once. So we've got major, seven, major, seven. But if we're doing the eighth and ninth bar, it's major, seven, major, seven, major, seven, major, seven. Okay? So like I said, that would be our loop. <clears throat> okay, so that's on loop now, imagine. And then uh, we have different parts. We have a bass part, there's a higher chord part on the synthesizer, and then there's a synthesizer solo at the end. Okay, so we're going to Im imitate that on the guitar. So first things first, uh, the bass. Now the bass comes in with this. So it comes in on the on the uh, eighth bar, or the ninth bar, I can't remember. So uh, we're going to stay in the first position, and we're going to lead from the... Uh, we're not going to do the lead in bar, let's just do, well, come on, let's do it, let's, I'll show you. So it's an E minor shape, two on the two of the five, and then two on the two of the four, and it's uh, five, five, four, okay? And now, the bass part itself, we go to the F first on the sixth, and play the F, fourth string, open two, three on the fifth, chord part uh, we just go into the we're playing the similar shapes we're just going to do the triads in the octave okay so if you have a cutaway life's a bit easier you can keep your thumb there but if you don't have a cutaway I suggest that you use the tip of your thumb on the side of the guitar okay so we're going to bar the 13th with the first finger over strings one and two and then the second finger to the 14th on the third string and give it a little bit of a broad or just to sustain it, okay? So that's over the F chord. Then we'll come to the D minor chord, switch to a D minor shape. Oops, in the same position. Vibrato. When we come to the A minor, we want to go to the 17, all right? Again, you can use a bar if, if, if you've got cut away, but if you don't, use fingers two, three, and four. Vibrato. And then on the 16 and the 17, we have the D major shape, but it's an E major chord. Ah, okay. Now again, you can you can if you've got a lot of pedals or something like that, you can use that over that to make it sound like the synthesizer section. And then uh, finally, we have a synth solo at the end. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bar the three strings, uh, one, two, and three on the fifth fret. Right. Now, using your second finger, we go to the six. On the uh, on, on the two, and it goes um, second string, third string, seventh on the fourth string. That's our first part. Now we'll go back to the same shape that we started with. But this time, go to the eight on the two, and then there's a short five on the one, and then again back to our initial position. Seven on the four. Now on the third string, we're going to go five, four, five, seven, five. Okay, Let's see if I can play that. I'm not too familiar with the song, okay? So. And of course, whenever you hold a note, vibrato, keep it alive, okay? Then when we go higher up the neck, we're going to go to the 12th position, and first string, 13, 12, 13 on the 2, 14 on the 3, vibrato, keep it alive, okay? Same again, 13, 12, 13, uh, 15 on the 1, and then 17 on the 1, then back, 
13, 12, 13, 14, and a 3. Second string, 13, 12, 13, 15, 15, 12 on the 1, 12, 15, 13. And that's the synth solo. Okay, so just rewind the video for those parts that you need. Um, and like I said, we were doing it for a looper. Uh, so those extra parts, the bass part, the higher triads and the synth solo, you know, you can just play it over the loop. It would sound pretty cool. And if you've got a microphone in your guitar, you can also imitate the drums. However it goes, down. I can't remember what the drums do. But you know, you kick drum there, snare here, you can maybe just imitate a hi-hat or something, I don't know. Um, I, I don't use loopers, personally. But that's the sort of thing you could do. All right, hope that helps. Any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, I am an online guitar teacher. If you would like face-to-face -face classes, please use the link in the description below. Feeling that, uh, consider liking and subscribing. And feeling that, just enjoy it.